Hey, hey. Yeah, I haven't seen the trailer yet. We're going to watch it tonight. I'm excited, though. You see Project L got its final name. It's dog shit. Oh, yeah, we can talk about that. I did see it. Thanks, Resub, Agadina, and Jason. Thanks, Resub, Retribution. Hey, thanks, Antonio. I appreciate the Resub, Relaxed. And Ninji. You seen the Borderlands live action trailer? Yes. I did. Visually it looked good. Everything else too early to tell. Thanks for your sub Caden. And the Prime Beal. I have started Netflix Avatar. I haven't finished it yet. I'll make a, a moist meter for it when I'm done. I'm hyped that the main boss is a Drake Knight. Drake Knight was my favorite build in Elden Ring. That's cool. I haven't watched the trailer yet. Hey, what's sweet? Well, thanks, Psycho. I know, I feel that, Jacob. Made a whole video on Ruby Frank's sentencing. There's the Prime. It'll be one. Thanks, Risa Marky. The Prime Wake and Zarl and Raijin. The new avatar is like a cheap imitation of the cartoon so far. <clears throat> I won't give my opinion on what I've watched so far. I will say it's very, very clear. It is trying to have its own identity. Thanks, Risa Serene. Yeah, I know. I saw the Batman Beyond stuff that they turned down, which is a real fucking shame. Exit Prime. Cloth. Well, thanks for that, Goofus. Am I going to replay Elden Ring on stream? Like, before the DLC? Yeah, I might do, like, another, flesh, uh, another fresh playthrough. I've, I've played through it quite a bit, though. We'll see. What Capcom game would you like to get a show out of? None. I'm not a big proponent of take a game and make a movie out of it. Thanks, Tier 1 Wiz. And yeah, Halo Season 2 hasn't been nearly as dog shit as Season 1, which is nice. I don't know if it's enough to make it worth watching, but it's still not bad. Well, not as bad. There's still quite a bit that's bad about it, and it's mainly the remnants from Season 1. I'm sorry to hear that, Sleepy. I'm looking forward to Deadpool 3. Really, Parker? I did not see that. Thoughts on the internet outage? Oh, you're talking about all the stuff I saw about China hacking the U.S.? Thanks, Reset Lamp. Next MWL should be within a month. I haven't looked into all the China hacking things. But I saw last night all of like AT&T or something went down for a while. Thanks to give Sub Garrison. Nope. 
No, I did not see that clip, Milk. Doing alright, Andy. Hope you're doing well. Thanks to Tier 1 Nipple Man. And the resub not in the Prime Simi. And the 5 gift subs, Weasel. Appreciate it. Thanks, Weasel. And no, I didn't see that story either, Chuckle. You think they'll remaster Bloodborne? Just today, actually, they made a statement saying that they can't talk about Bloodborne because they don't own the IP. So my answer to that is a resounding no, as I've said for years now. There will be no remake, there will be no PC port, maybe at some point there'll be a sequel, but neither of that's happening anytime soon. And yeah, the DLC is real. And thanks to Resub Salmon. Yeah, I don't know if I'll do another run before DLC. We'll see. I probably will, just because I love Elden Ring. Thanks to Resub Snorlay. So we'll see. Check out the story of the farmer who cut off, who hired a Ford, Florida man to cut off his feet in order to commit insurance fraud. Galaxy Brain. Have you heard of the 80s game show host that kissed kids during production? The show was called Just Like Mom, and the host made the young contestants feel really uncomfortable. Yeah. I remember that. That shit was diabolical. Hey, have a great shift, Andy. And I did watch that, Scotty. That was interesting. Worst movie right now? Madam Web. It's not even close. That's easy. Madam Web is atrocious. He's very submissive. Maybe ask for it back, Maniac. Or share it. Worst game of 2024 so far? It's got to be Suicide Squad, I think. Or Skull and Bones, but I haven't played Skull and Bones, but just the state that I've that I see it in seems probably worse than Suicide Squad, but I think Suicide Squad's the worst I've played so far. And yeah, I might Nate. I'll probably do a rerun. Thanks a Prime Connie. And the resub Imperial. Thanks to membership WXZ. Yeah, I know about the Gordon Ramsay Girl Cheese re rematch. Not going super swimmingly. Oh, oh Jesus, holy shit. Thanks to Tier 1 Streisen, and thank you for the big fucking drop, Ethan. Wow. Goddamn. Thanks to Resub Town and Slam. Yeah, we do tech and open lobbies pretty often. We just did one two days ago. But there's no tournament mode, so I can't really host a tournament at the moment. Thanks to Membership Shadow. I really appreciate that, Ethan. I hope you're having a good night. But I love Tekken. Tekken 8, I think, is so good. There's a tier one Decepticon. An alley. Yeah, no, I haven't watched the trailer yet. I want to Peggy experience 16. it together. For my first time. This is like the first DLC I've actually been very excited for. I'm not a huge DLC guy. I usually don't care. But this one, I'm pretty hyped. And radiant. He wields love to shrive clean the hearts of men. There is nothing more terrifying. Thanks, Arisa Picks. Nerissa Beam. In that forsaken place, blood must spill. Blood of your fellows. They are truly faithful. They were never saints. They just happened to be. 
be on the losing side of a war. That looks very cool. That looks like, um... Fuck. Wait. From, uh... Was it Dark Souls? My, was it Dark Souls Mother, 3? The Chimera thing? Truly I think it was 3. Thanks for the gift, so, the gift member, Shogun. Bereft of light. Nah, I still don't even really know what the Lord of Elden Ring is, to be honest. I presume you, too, are keen to know. For all I know, it's a multiverse. They could bring in An Orlando here or something. Here's your sub, honey. Those stripped of the grace of gold shall all meet death. In the embrace of restless flame. Come now. Touch the withered arm and travel to the realm of shadow. I will not be far behind. This looks like a big we'll DLC. That looks meaty. Thanks, Bishop Tommy. And no, just during stream, Tommy. It's also not too far away. I appreciate that. I was thinking there was a chance it'd be 2025. Thanks, membership Chandra. Final boss is confirmed by Miyazaki to be Melania and Mika Melania and Michaela's brother. His name is Mesmer. Oh, cool. Don't pee is less than 30 seconds, any percent speed run now. I saw the new glitches are kind of crazy. Like there's some swiggity. Yeah, it's pretty wild, Moses. A lot of awful stuff. I think that's cool, Andy. I'm sure you get some like bad customers from time to time, but overall it's probably pretty fun. Thanks to the membership to Tara. Have I seen the Cooking with Jack situation? Last I saw from Cooking with Jack was a couple months ago where he was going on like a meat-only diet, doing the carnivore diet or something. Which, with his health history, I think is a horrible idea for him. But that's the last I saw. That's usually how it goes, Arrow. A lot of it's up to interpretation. Are DLC bosses usually harder? It depends. Most of the time, yeah. And thanks for a long time for watching, Ion. Appreciate that. Did you see Trivium and Bullet for My Valentine joint tour for a full playthrough of Ascendancy and the Poison? Nah, but if they come to Tampa, I would love to go to that. That'd be great, Kermit. Would love that. I haven't finished Netflix Avatar yet. When I do, I'll make a moist meter on it. The boss is equal to the difficulty of Melania. I hope so. Thanks to tier one. Satilia in the membership archive. That's a cool archive. I didn't see that. And no, I have no idea. Thanks to tier one meal. There's confirmed more than 10 unique bosses. Good. That sounds chunky. 10 new bosses, 8 new weapon categories, Poison Swamp, and a map bigger than Limgrave. 
Sounds worth the 40 bucks to me. Is there a sub candle? Thanks, membership, Leo. What do you think about the new League of Legends fighting game name? 2XKO? I don't know who's working at Riot that came up with this name, but they need to be put in a different department. That is probably the worst game name I've ever seen, and I don't say that lightly. So if any of you have been following Riot's projects, you'll know that they had Project L, which is their 2v2 fighter, which actually looks like a hype game. They've officially announced that it's called 2XKO, which I think is crazy. That's a terrible name. Like, even if they, you know, even if they took the X out, I think that could work. If they just called it 2KO, that's kind of cool. Like, that that flows. 2XKO? Nah, this looks like a like the start to some kind of Xbox Live arcade code. It's stupid. It's like a CAPTCHA. Yeah, even Project L was a better name. This shit sounds like a hentai doujin. I've, I'm not a huge hentai guy, but I'll take your word for it. I All I know is it's a bad name. Yeah, it's fair, body farm. That makes sense. Thanks for the resub. Better Reno. Yeah, I'm excited for it, Walter. When will you review Avatar? I'm going to try and finish it tomorrow. So I might have a review up for it tomorrow. Hey, thanks for that, Anthony. I did see the Borderlands trailer. Speaking of stinky, uh, yeah, I I didn't love the Borderlands trailer. Visually, I thought there were some very cool moments in it. But that's about like the best compliment I have. The rest is kind of shaky, and it's hard to say if it's going to be like good or bad. But I can say the visuals in it looked pretty decent. Everything else, we'll see. Thanks for some Mashton. It looks like they wanted James Gunn to direct it so bad. That's a good point. It does feel like someone was trying to imitate James Gunn. Yeah, I would agree with that. And not really, cock. I guess in Teen Titans. Things are resub stab. And yeah, I did see it stab. Randy Pitchford said this movie is going to start the Borderlands cinematic universe. Is Randy Pitchford still there? I thought... I re this could be a Mandela effect, but I thought I remembered him resigning at some point. Is he still the CEO at Gearbox? Yeah. Well, no. Yeah. No. Well, let me read this. Uh, no, it looks like he's still got his post. Oh, God damn, Ethan. Thank you. You've been so fucking generous tonight. Thank you so much for that, man. And yeah, I probably will try and get the lore before it drops. A new Borderlands game would be very welcome. Need to scratch that itch. Yeah, but that itch hasn't been scratched since Borderlands 2, man. I, I didn't really like 3 that much, and I couldn't stand Tiny Tina's Wonderland. I have not seen Argyle.
you know if it's based on any of the games or completely separate? Well, just by watching the trailer, I can 100% assure you it is completely separate. <laughs> yeah. It just, it takes the vibe of the games more so than anything. Hey, glad you're enjoying it. I'm happy to hear that, Fallen. Ninja Kamui is great, yeah. And yeah, I heard that one was good, Bricks. Yeah, Randy Pitchford was the guy... Uh, only real gamers remember this. Randy Pitchford was the guy who left a flash drive of porn at a Medieval Times restaurant and someone found it. And then in order to explain why he had a bunch of like cam model porn on his on his flash drive, he said that the reason that was there is because he was studying the squirting method that the girl used because he thought it was a magic trick. For those that don't know, Randy Pitchford's grandfather basically invented magic tricks. Like he was a prolific magician. So his excuse was, I wasn't masturbating to this. I was watching her squirt to learn how she does it because there's so much liquid. Like he couldn't he couldn't imagine like all of that fluid being anything more than a magic trick that he was trying to crack. It was an incredible excuse. That's cute, Anthony. That was back when was that? It was in 2019, man, how time flies. But it, was a, it was a huge controversy. Yeah, obviously there was more to it than just like the porn, but that was such a wacky part of it. The wet wizard. Now this man was hot on the case. Thanks Risa Buzz and the Prime Syrup. In the prime stand. What are you referring to, Tretch? And maybe Katie. I just don't know anything about the lore. How the fuck did people know it was his? Well, I think the comment right above yours is accurate based on memory. It was brought in as evidence when Sega sued them for mishandling funds. It was so, like it, it was more than they weren't in a legal battle over Randy Pitchford being a sexual degenerate or anything. But that came up because it was used as evidence at some point. And I don't remember exactly why. It's just been too long. Who carries a USB of porn? That's what I said. Even in 2019, that's like really archaic. And especially to bring it to a medieval times to, I, I don't know, I guess, have a jelk session at the medieval times, eat a turkey leg and watch some cam models squirt. It's, it's certainly odd. Haven't finished the Avatar Netflix show yet. Thanks to the gifted member Goofus. Not yet, Bricks. I haven't started the documentary. I still have it queued up. As the kings of old once did. Ah, uh, yes. Just like our ancestors. He's the prime boss. Dude, people download porn and need somewhere to store that. I, I mean, what you could just keep it on your computer. I don't know why it needs to go mobile. Unless you're just like such a brain-rotted coomer that you have to have your porn on you at all times like a rabbit's foot. You, you can absolutely just keep it at home. Where it should be. 
Things that resub imagine. I'm also gonna say, I don't know if this is a hot take. Downloading porn, that also feels like really ancient. I, I don't I, I I don't know anyone that does, but I see a lot of like porn addicts that are like, oh it's totally normal, like everyone does that. Yeah, chat's kind of split on that. More on the side of, yeah, I don't know anyone that downloads either. It just feels like that's like an early 2000s thing. When that was the only way to access it. I doubt he still goes to the Medieval Times, Bricks. He's probably been blacklisted from attending Medieval Times anymore. I don't think they'd allow him back in there, unless he goes in a disguise. Like one of those like glasses with the nose and mustache on or something, like a cartoonish disguise. I appreciate it, CJ. No, what the fuck is that about, Theo? Jesus. People say the internet lasts forever, but it really doesn't. Shit gets deleted and never re-uploaded. Doesn't feel, doesn't feel worth downloading, though. Makes more sense to just find new porn. Yeah, and I understand that argument. Like, because I've been talking about this a lot, why physical media is so important. Because everything just keeps getting taken off and you have no ownership over anything. But, like, I feel like the number one thing that you shouldn't care about owning is porn. There's just, like, an endless abundance of it. So even if your, like, favorite porno goes down, it's like Hydra. Five others take its place. It just doesn't feel worth it. <laughs> just find another one. It's not the same, bro. I mean, I, yeah, it's a different video, but I mean, it just, I don't know, it doesn't feel like it's a worthy preservation, a worthy endeavor. Thanks, Risa Bainbot. Worked with a dude who kept a garbage bag full of DVD and VHS pornos in the trunk of his car. He asked me if I wanted to see them. I kindly declined. Oh, you missed out. <laughs> that would have been a... What an adventure. What a cool guy. Yeah, I just talked about the internet provider thing. Well, mainly the AT&T thing. I haven't looked too deep into it. I only know, like, the surface level of what happened. Thanks for some flux. My dad has an archive of porn spanning from the 70s to the 2000s. Does he, like, tell you about it? Is it an achievement he's proud of? I don't know if being the porn oracle is necessarily, like, noble. I mean, I guess it's kind of cool to an extent, but I feel like anything else would be better. It's a family heirloom. <laughs> the original Coomer. <laughs> yeah, the patient zero of Coomers. Thanks, Risa Bash. And I haven't seen that trailer yet, Joseph. I don't even know that game. And thanks, Cooper. It's his inheritance. Yeah, can you imagine he sits his son down? Son, one day, this kingdom will all be yours. It's just like the Indiana Jones like warehouse of rows upon rows of VHS and DVDs of the 70s through 2000s porn. Everything the light touches. 
Things are some shun. Thanks to Tier 1 Ash. And the Tier 1 Happy Birthday. Yeah, we were just talking about 2XKO. Terrible, terrible, terrible name. Mm. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fate, I suppose. You seen? Have you seen Dune Part Two? Is ninety eight percent on Rotten Tomatoes? Crazy! I saw. It's getting incredible reviews. I'm so excited. I bet you're excited too, Andrew, for people to see your work. You think the Library of Alexandria had any porn in it? Yeah, absolutely. One hundred percent. Thanks, resub slash. That is a pretty cool thought, Cheetah. That would be like a, a wild pinata situation. Are you going to get the Dune popcorn? I actually might. I usually don't care about that, but for this one I might just because of how outrageous it is. There's the resub GV. And that seems like a waste of money, Wyatt. My god. What older technology like cassette tapes that are regaining popularity do you find the weirdest trend? I don't know what what besides that and vinyl, what old technology is regaining popularity? And no, I haven't played all of them, AD. Is VHS making a comeback? I haven't seen any of that. That's news to me. I can just get you one regardless, Edgar. Yeah, I'll grab two. Do you think it's a waste of money to get the collector's edition of the Elden Ring DLC? I mean, if you love Elden Ring, man, you can get it if you want. I'm sure it'll be a cool collector's edition. It's up to you. It's Prime Leo. Oh, well, thank you so much, Trevor. I really appreciate that. That was super wholesome. Thank you, Trevor. You see the Battlefront Classic collection? I did. I like Battlefront Classic. I am definitely a fan. They're bringing back 1 and 2 pretty soon. So that'll be nice. VHS isn't coming back, but CRTs definitely are for retro gaming. That makes sense, though. Like, CRTs are still used for Smash tournaments. Like, there is legitimate merit to using a CRT, so there's no input lag. I get that, especially for retro gaming. I bet that's just really cool. I think that's I think that's fine. And probably just display it, I would imagine, Brick. Hey, thanks, Gorilla. Good luck on buying the instrument. I want Tenchu and Splinter Cell, then I'll be satisfied. Like a new Tenchu and Splinter Cell? Tenchu was great. I loved Tenchu Z when I was growing up. This was an old Xbox 360 classic. It even had a multiplayer that was pretty fun, too. This video isn't even that old. 
And I've not seen any of the Final Fantasy what Rebirth you reviews. Are you gonna blue kill your homie? It's all good, bro. We all gotta die sometimes. I'm sorry to hear that, bike. I have no advice you for you, but I'm hoping it turns around there? for you. But Tenchu Z is a great game. Just stay strong, bike. You've got this. And CRTs are goaded. Agreed. Thanks, Resub Carl. Do you think the JJ do you think the JJK game can get saved? Are you out of your mind? Have you lost your marbles? Do I think the Jujutsu Kaisen Cursed Clash game can be saved? The only thing that would save that is to kill it. Put it out of its misery. Take it offline. No. Every single facet of that game is just not good. It's just shovelware. It is so bad, in fact. I don't know how many of you saw this. Bandai said that they uh, scrapped, I think it was five anime games. Yeah. As part of an internal restructuring, a restructuring with their studio's development process. I'm assuming this is just five other throwaway arena fighter anime games. The copy and paste dog shit. No, you cannot save that game. It was bad from the start. Rotten to the core. Hey, thanks for that, Peyton. I appreciate that. Hope you had a good day at work. And I did hear about that, Gorilla. Yeah, saw the headline. I heard it has apparently 100k refunds on Steam. That's a fake headline, but Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash, I do think, is actually the most refunded game of all time, but it's not 100k. Let's see if there's an actual number for it, but I'm pretty sure it is the most refunded. There's no way. I don't believe that at all. There's no. F there's no way. That's just a random community post, so I don't believe that. Is it at least fun bad, or is it hot garbage with no redeeming qualities? JJK Curse Clash? There is no, there is not a single redeeming quality to the game. At all. I couldn't fish one compliment for it. Thanks for the 10 gift subs, Carsey. Appreciate that. Do you listen to any metal bands? Brother, that's the main genre of music I listen to. Absolutely. I don't have any advice for that, but I hope it goes well for you, Layla. How much did it sell for in the first place? Bro, this is a $60 super stinker. They had the gall to charge 60 clams for this game. Is there any games from the past you'd like to see get a remake or remaster? I'd pref I'd like to see DBZ Legacy of Goku. Yeah, City Heroes, just bring it back. The private servers are crushing it. Just bring it back in an official capacity with a development team, like a big development team. Fucking full-blown relaunch that game. People would love it. The game is still so good. Never played it, didn't watch much of you playing it. What would you say is the worst aspect of Cursed Clash? I wouldn't even be able to pick a single thing. The whole game is just bad. You know what I hate the most about this game, though? And a lot of people defend it. Every single attack you throw out does no damage except for your main light combo. So the very last hit of your last light combo does damage or your curse techniques. Everything else does not. It's supposed to just lead into setups, but almost every single setup move that does no damage doesn't set up into anything because you can't capitalize off it, it sends them too far, or it doesn't leave them in hit stun long enough. So like, conceptually, it doesn't even work. So you end up just spamming the same moves, or just using curse techniques raw. It's just terrible. It's a horrible design. Like, if, if the no damage moves, which is almost all of them, at least set up into a combo, then I would kind of get the design perspective there, but they don't. 
Like, most of the time, they just launch someone straight into the ground, and then, of course, they have iframes on that when they're getting up. You can't just punish on the ground. So you can't do anything after it. There's no follow-up. It doesn't even put them in a disadvantage state. Thanks, Risa. Okay, the Prime Ashton. The membership, Kachow. I did not play that unpopular. I also didn't play that one, Layla. Yeah, we talked about it, Mason. You see that the SpongeBob Sailor Mouth Uncensored audio got leaked? I did. At least a clip of it where he says, blow me. Yeah, I'm going to be playing Rebirth on stream when it comes out, Anthony. Have you seen the Disney executive blaming fans for their failures? No, which failures? What failures are you referring to? Oh, hold on. Just all of them? It's not very specific. And not really Minos. Probably not. Yeah, we talked about Riot Law and something about Chicken's video. <clears throat> not sure what build I'm doing for the Elden Ring DLC. After back-to-back -back failures, Disney executive blames fans for company's box office bombs. Shares his conversation with an unnamed Disney head and revealed that he points fingers at the audience for the Marvels and Star Wars. I don't know, an unnamed Disney head? That seems a little hard to believe. I'll wait to see like an official statement from them saying fuck the fans. That seems more like rage bait. No, I haven't finished the newest Avatar. I haven't finished the new Avatar series. I will try to finish it tomorrow, though. Can I dunk a basketball? Yeah, absolutely. I can't dunk a basketball on a 10-foot hoop, but if you put that shit down to like a comfortable 6 feet, 7 feet, even 8 feet, yeah, I'm slamming. The epic Mickey concept art? I've seen it. Is the Avatar show good so far? I won't be sharing my opinion till I finish it tomorrow. Like I said, it's abundantly clear they wanted to carve their own path in the IP. An interesting choice in some of the stuff I've seen here. But I haven't finished it, so I will wait. I'm going to try and finish it tomorrow. Have you heard of the Queen Pones a lot blindfold run on Monster Hunter World? Apparently she faked it. I watched Carl's video on that, yeah. It seems irrefutable. There's the Prime Jitaro. I guess uh, I'm very curious how she'll defend it, but it really seems impossible. 
impossible to debunk this. Like, even just watching it, it's very clear she had to be looking. It, it it's, an, it's actually not achievable. That's fair, Jay, I guess. You don't even play Monster Hunter World. What makes you have a say on this? That's a really stupid take. Brother, I watch blindfolded runs. It's a whole category of speedruns. You know what I've never seen from a real blindfolded runner? One that adjusts the camera perfectly to always be facing where they need to. You go by sound cues most of the time. And somehow she's always facing at the boss exactly where she needs to for headshots. Through sound cues? Some of them don't even have sound cues, by the way, that she dodges. It's impossible. Her camera movement is just the dead giveaway. You can't do that with sound cues. And she, yeah, she doesn't even use auto lock. She free balls it. Thank you for the 10 gift subs, hot mess. Here, maybe, maybe you're just saying that like as a devil's advocate without knowing the evidence. Watch Carl's video, but I'm just going to show you like a really quick example here. Towards the end, he shows like some absolute <laughs> impossible to defend moments. Let me, let me find them real quick. And again, it's all camera movements. We are going to need an entire video because this rabbit hole is deep. Queen Pones a lot thinks she is sneaky Where enough is to get by me. Oh no, this guy went too far. Was it back here? This recent attempt was amazing. She went on to beat Alatreon again with a proper blindfold on and with paper covering her screen. No, where is it? There was like a whole montage he did of the camera. I thought it was towards the end. Was it towards the middle or the beginning? I can't quite recall now. Was it in she here? She has, even when she can see. It's so habitual that she kept doing it blindfolded. Oh, here's the section. Is the camera. She doesn't always tilt the camera when using items, but in these particular cases, she did. Immediately after exiting the menu, she fixes the camera, moving it back to a more neutral position. This isn't something that is specific to her blindfolded runs either. This is a habit that she has even when she can see. I don't know who that it's is. It's so Seg. habitual that I she kept look, doing though. it blindfolded, not realizing that you need to see in order to know you've done this. This is a problem, because there is no reliable audio cue that tells you where you're facing on the vertical axis. Why did she know she was facing up? How did she know how much she was facing up? How did she fix her camera perfectly and so quickly? How was she able to do this over and over and over again? The fact that you can't tell whether you're looking up or down actually ends up being a bigger problem than locating the enemy on the horizontal axis. There is no reason or mechanism that explains why she's able to keep the camera in a neutral vertical position the entire fight. You can there's like there's just no way it's just actually impossible. I feel like there's just no real way of like debunking that. Like the camera movement can't be done in a blindfolded run. Again, I watch blindfolded category. I find it fascinating. It all goes by sound cues. And what you'll notice across the entire spectrum of blindfolded runs is there is not perfect camera movement. Like in Super Mario 64, you can get like good camera placement because you have like very set places that it can go. But in here, she's not even using the auto lock, which if she did, I'd say would make it far more believable. But she doesn't. She freehands the camera. And there's no way she'd be able to make these like micro adjustments of the cam to face the boss with a blindfold on. There's no sound cue for that to tell you where you're fucking facing or where your camera is. You would be so lost. She's Madam Web. Well, yeah, perhaps. Maybe she does have, like, a superpower. But we'll see. Maybe she has... Some way of proving it beyond a shadow of a doubt. That'd be crazy. I, I, we'll see. Carl's got, like, another video, he said, coming out for it, so... He's a prime calamari in the resub Neon. She's got observation hockey. That too, perhaps. 
Oh, God, thank you for this huge gifted member drop, Milky. Thank you for that. Holy Lord. A channel named Juzi shows how you can fake the Alt Alat Alatrion fight by recreating it himself. What do you mean? Like, blindfolded? Oh, 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 this was the channel Carl mentioned as well, yeah. If she had used auto lock, it would be way harder to think it's fake. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. If she had used auto lock, I'd believe it. Do the second video. Hello, I am Juzzy. The current time is 7 p.m. on the 20th of February. Here is a stopwatch. You can check the time at the end to make sure I haven't cut the video. And yeah, I just talked about the classic collection. Here is a flashlight. This will shine Let through me. my shirt. So my shirt's translucent, obviously. But it will not shine through the blindfold because the blindfold is fully opaque. Alright, so let's see. <laughs> you check out blindfolded cup stacking. <laughs> okay. I don't know about that. I more, or more, I more prefer blindfolded speedrun categories. So then what's the method? How does he fake it? So he does it. Blindfold seems legit. Oh my god. Yo, Jesus, thank you, Milky. Six seconds. That's pretty good. That's pretty good for blindfolded. And I'm glad to hear that. That's good news. Thank it you so is much. The time on the stopwatch. Okay, no, stop. Oh, he doesn't do it in the video. He does it in the description. Oh. So how did I cheat? Apart from using this mod for permanent fire, Alatrion quest. Wait, what? Thanks for resub serious. And the tin bup. So it's just this mod. No, someone just mentioned the cooking with Jack thing a minute ago, but that's the first I've heard of it, and thanks, Owen. So I haven't looked into the cooking with Jack stuff. Stop that. Pretty happy with the result. He was using an Apple Vision Pro, just a really small one. <laughs> I'm confused. What, what what is the method? How did he fake it? Does it say somewhere in this mod? No, this just seems like it gets you that quest whenever you need it. It's the pinned comment. Oh. Okay, let's see. I work together with Carl, Abisoft, and several top-level Iceborne runners who have elected to not be named to analyze both blindfolded and Latrion runs. We found conclusive proof she could see through her blindfold in the first run, and they made videos on it. We've now identified exactly how she cheated on her second run. And they're both releasing a video explaining it on the 29th of February. So here's the summary. She claims mouse movement was trying to aim and hit the head, micro-adjusting the camera down to the left to hit the head directly in front of her is ridiculous. It does not improve her positioning or aim at all. Micro-adjustments micro adjustments in general are absurd for blindfolded runs as she does no such micro-adjustments at all in her second run. She also highlights the fact that she didn't mouse over the disconnect button. Well, that's what I was saying. The micro-adjustments are just literally impossible in a blindfolded run like that. And goddamn, thank you so much again, Milky. Thank you for that. Okay. I mean, this all makes sense. So, 29th of February is when they 
reveal everything. I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing it. It's an interesting story, nonetheless. It's like that, you remember that Super Mario 64 blindfolded fake run? It's like that, but more intricate. Hey, well, thank you for that, Phantom. And appreciate the five gift subs, Teriyaki. And no, that's terrifying, Winted. Hope everyone stays safe. Your favorite speedrun ever. Super Mario 64 is the most important speedrun game ever. But I think The Hobbit's the best speedrun game ever. I love The Hobbit runs. And yeah, I'm going to review um, Netflix Avatar. Maybe tomorrow if I can finish it in time. Do you think Elden Ring DLC will be a good contender with Black Myth Wukong for Game Awards? I cannot imagine the Elden Ring DLC winning Game of the Year, unless it's just unbelievable. But I'm very excited for Black Myth Wukong as well. And the DLC. Have you played the Epstein Island yet? No, I haven't played it. There's a membership status. We seen Papa Meat's new video. He's getting a lot of undeserved hate for it. Uh, I saw a little bit of what it was about. It's about lollies, right? And why lollies are weird. I haven't watched the video yet. I'm definitely not doing any blindfolded speedruns. I can hardly speedrun eyes open. Oh, that's, that, that's very sad, Steven. That would be cool. An ODST Helldivers game would be cool. Thanks, Risa Bunyan. Have you heard how the Silk Show is being rewritten because of the Madam Web failure? News to me. And I have seen that part as well. And yeah, that's old, Ryan. That happened a long time ago. We played Helldivers 2 two days ago. The servers are just too wonky right now from being too popular. So I'm going to wait till they're stable again to hop back on. Oh, they fixed it. I saw, I think Mudahar just posted a tweet today about the servers not being stable. Did they fix it, like, this afternoon? <clears throat> Either way, great news. Oh my god, thank you again, Milky. <laughs> I, I guess, I suppose, Milky, and thanks to the resub bank. They fixed the AFK problem, but I wanted them to ban AFKers for the amount of time they were AFK. Yeah. You have a favorite gaming soundtrack slash score? Yep, the very first Nier game I think has the most beautiful soundtrack in gaming. God, it's so good. Kainé Salvation, best gaming song of all time. Oh, it's up there. This, there's not a bad song on this track, uh, on this score. There's not a single bad track. I love it so much, man.
Thanks, Kanji. Next game on the list for what? Like the next new game that comes out? Hey, Ollie. Thanks for the five gifts of men. Good to see you. I've always enjoyed the Kingdom Hearts soundtrack. Kingdom Hearts does have a good soundtrack. I agree. I still have Simple and Clean on my playlist. I really like that song. They have some bangers. I 100% agree. Do you think it's too bold to release my game on the same day as GTA 6? Yeah. Don't do it. I'll just tell you no. Don't do it. Thank you for the five gifted members, Bricks. That would be a terrible decision. That was wholesome. Well, thank you, hi. And no worries at all. The watching's plenty. You should watch Godzilla Final Wars. It's the moonfall of the Godzilla series. Yeah, I haven't seen Final Wars. I've never even heard of Final Wars. Have you seen the new YouTube UI that's slowly rolling out? I don't think so. I, I do remember Milky. I, I I know what you're talking about. I appreciate it, man. As long as it's just for, like, the meme of it. Jealous what happened... Or, wondering what happened to the Army of Two franchise. Just petered out, man. I think the second one flopped, so they kind of just called it quits. And just shooting the shit, Bricks. Thanks, membership, Christopher. The membership. No no real plans. I'm not sure what the record is, Yusuke. It's Prime Wildlife. And yeah, of course, I played it in eight. I hope it'll be good, Jay. Is that the same era as Kane and Lynch? What? Near? Because, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Anthony. Hopefully not too many stupid customers. Oh, Army of Two. Yeah, that was still during the Kane and Lynch time period. You plan on starting a new character for Elden Ring when DLC drops? Or are you going to stick with your original build? Nah, I think I'll probably do a new character. We'll get attached to a new guy, maybe. I do still have my Sonic build character. That was fun. The Sonic build was fire. Oh my god, thank you for the big drop, Rigby. Hey, glad you're enjoying them, Rigby. Thank you for that. What game do you have the most hours in? RuneScape, and it's not even close. Across the many accounts I've had on RuneScape, I've poured probably close to 10,000 hours in it, I would say. Because you have to keep in mind, I started playing RuneScape when I was in 4th grade. So, it's not, it's not even close. Thanks for that, Anissa. Love Helldivers too. I think it's great. Thanks for the five gift subs, Plague. Well, 
A lot of people play that shit still. It's addicting, man. RuneScape is one of those games that just gets in your brain and never leaves. There's a, a meme in the community where no one quits, they just take breaks, because you always end up coming back to RuneScape for one reason or another. It's a cycle. <laughs> Jesus Christ, thank you for the huge drop again, Milky. And I'm glad, I'm glad things are looking better. I hope it continues that way. That sounds kind of wholesome, yes. I'm, I'm not familiar with Joey, but that does sound kind of cool. Are you ready for Shadow of the Colossus 2? That's not confirmed, right? I'm pretty sure it's still just a rumor. Haven't finished live action Avatar yet. We'll see. Thanks for gift of member Goofus. Do you think the League of Legends MMO will revive the MMO genre or no? Nope. I don't think so. I'm sure it'll be good. It'll have its own niche. It'll be very popular, but it's not going to revive the MMO genre. MMOs are too expensive. They require too much, so most companies are just going to steer clear. I see John Cena made an OnlyFans account. Yeah, but it's just for a movie promotion. It's name. What's his name? Ricky Stanicki? Something like that. Yeah, it's it's just for that movie he's in. So it's not like John Cena made an OnlyFans type shit. It's a promotional marketing stunt for the movie. That's not happening, Doomed, yeah. Why would people pay for that OnlyFans is just background pictures? I asked myself that question on quite a few of them. No, only iRacing, Sofa. And I don't know, I don't think Silk Song's coming out this year. Maybe next year we'll get Silk Song. Is there a sublimisa? You sub Antonio? <laughs> no, I'm not doing that, Jonathan. You should subscribe to DJ Khaled's OnlyFans. It's him charging for motivational quotes. That's cool, I guess. Awesome. Thanks to the membership, Adam. Oh, sweet. And thanks, Demonoid. I don't know what brand of chairs these are. Blue Eye Samurai is a fantastic show. I always recommend it. Jesus Christ, Milky. Hey, have a great rest of your evening, Milky, and thanks for the generosity, man. Godspeed, soldier. Champ. Can you live stream on OnlyFans? I don't think so. I don't think they have streaming capability. I think it's only video sharing. I could be wrong. I don't think they have that, though. Does he race on ovals or tracks as well? He races on pretty much anything so far. Anything that iRacing has. You can stream on OnlyFans. Oh. Cool. Then yeah, you can do anything. Multi-stream there, win. <laughs> Yeah, I'll stream on YouTube, Twitch, and OnlyFans. <laughs> That's kind of genius. 
The discoverability on OnlyFans is probably even better than YouTube, though, even though there's no fucking way of finding streams on OnlyFans, I imagine. It's still probably better than what YouTube has. Nah, I didn't play my Hero uh, Ultra Rumble. Hey, sleep well, Yusuke. He's a tier one Elmo. I actually said this a long time ago, and it's really not a bad idea if anyone wants to steal it. I really think, just as a side hustle, anyone can do this. Just start up a stream on cam sites, like a multi-stream, and just have a camera set up on your feet while you just play a game. So like where you're just casually gaming or something, just have a camera set up on your feet. You don't interact with the chat, you just have a foot cam, you're bouncing your feet, doing whatever. Like, it's, it's just free. Even if it doesn't work, you've lost nothing by trying. They do? Have you never been to Chatterbait? Really? People already do that? What's your favorite Resident Evil game? Probably RE2 Remake. And I'm not sure, Alan. You have to give me a bit to think on that. Really stab. That's fascinating. I don't know, Souls games are just I don't know, I love that whole genre. The challenge, the fun. I, I find it just so rewarding. I'm a huge Souls like games fan. Anything Soulsborn. And I already talked about the new Borderlands movie. I think the visuals look cool, but everything else is very not interesting. Thanks for your sub Nick. Thanks, kid. Probably my Sonic build. Not a weapon, but that art. Be being naked is embarrassing no matter how you look. Brother, it's feet. Unless you're talking about something else. Like I was saying, my idea was you're just playing a game normally, and you can just start up a stream on a cam site with just a camera on your feet. No, nothing identifiable or anything. It's just your fucking feet. It's just like passive. Don't even interact. Low startup. And just let it rip. Lightning for sure, Colton. I hope the lightning. And I haven't finished the Avatar series on Netflix yet. There's membership PJ. Do people like non-clipped toenails? There's a fetish for everything. Actually, everything you can imagine has a fetish associated with it. Hey, good luck, Scoot, if you give it a try. I saw a video of a guy fucking a cheeseburger yesterday. Cool. I saw a, a screenshot of a video floating around where a guy made a tier list of the most fuckable pasta. And apparently he actually did just fuck the different pasta dishes. And then ranked them. And I was like, damn, kind of a fire tier list. Wish I had thought of that. What was S tier? I don't remember. I didn't watch the video, I just saw the screenshot, but someone posted the results, because why not? I think S tier was mac and cheese, and a couple others. And F tier, I think was pin A. Some kind of pin A. Thanks, membership, Cammy. Oh, and I'm sorry, thanks, Kinley. Thanks, 
the reset mark. Resub KV. Young people who weren't there for the weren't there for them don't realize how addicting early MMOs were. Especially since the age we started. Five hours a week for one year, that's two sixty hours. Nobody played that nobody played little t nobody played that little. Ten K hours is critical being shy. But yeah, I mean it's something it's a lot, is what I'm saying. It's a lot. Thanks for your sub Travis. That's what I'm saying, Lyft. Absolutely not, Colton. I don't think that happens. Thanks to the gift sub, Mogi. Show us your RuneScape playtime, coward. I did when I maxed my account. But I had many accounts before that. So I, had, I think it was 3,500 hours on my current maxed account. And then I had other accounts before that that also had a couple thousand hours across them. There's the Prime Cat, Tier 1, Jinx. That was super wholesome, Phantom. Jesus, thank you for that. The prime red. You see Timmy finishing rookie to pred run on Apex thirty four hours. Is that a new is that a new PB? Thirty four hours I think is faster than the last time he did it, right? Which is crazy. And I will, Arrow. I will at some point. Thanks for your decadence. <laughs> Thank you, Milky. I thought you were heading out. I saw someone make a tier list for Baldur's Gate characters' buttholes. Kind of cool. Thanks for your McFreako. Uh, thanks, Kinley. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well, Kinley. Have you seen the official name for Project L? Yeah, 2XKO. We already talked about it. We went over it. And yeah, we talked about the Batman Beyond stuff. Is the prime Sophie or Sophiticus? It should have been called Lethal Tempo. <laughs> it should have been called anything else. Actually, anything else. Last question before I knock out What's the fastest you've ever been in a car or truck? I'm not a car guy. Like, I, I am not, I am not a sp speed person like I don't care about going fast so I usually drive under the speed limit which I know oh one of, one of, one of those people but I, I just really like if I'm in a car I would like to be safe in it it's like the most dangerous thing you can do it's a prime Kenyan and a tier one Johnny membership azalea that being said there was one time I was going 120 because I was in Orlando and I live in Tampa and I was with my girlfriend at the time. This was back in fucking college. And I really did not feel like staying in Orlando. It's expensive. I didn't really have the money to stay in an Orlando hotel near Disney Springs or anything. And I was just like, I'm getting, I'm getting home. <laughs> I'm getting back to the dorms ASAP. So we hopped in my car. 
And from Orlando to Tampa, I never dropped over 120 miles per hour. And then the second that I get to the, I think it was like three or four exits away from my my uh, exit that I take, a cop pulls me over. And I am dr- so dreadfully over the speed limit that I could have and should have gone to jail for it. But when he asked me why I was speeding, I was just like, brother, I just wanted to get home. We came from Orlando. I'm, I was tired. I wanted to get back. And he's like, all right. But you know what? I'll just give you a speeding ticket and you won't go to jail for this. I was like, I appreciate it. That's like almost a two hour drive too. And I got home. I think I got from Orlando to Tampa in right around like 55 minutes ish. Probably less. It was actually probably like closer to 50. It was crazy. And I've never done it since and never will again. Thanks for membership, Matthew. In the resub tower. I'm super happy to hear that, Eric. That's great news. That's fantastic. And hi, Brendan. How many pets on Old School RuneScape? Just one, the mining pet. When's the next God Slap dropping? Five days. Issue five drops in five days. And thanks to Resub Polar. And the gift sub. Beatus Metus. When's the next tier list go up? Uh, probably beginning of next week. This is Prime Niji and Doomed. That's kind of sweet, Doomed. Do people do 120 casually? Oh, there's so many reckless drivers. Yeah, that's probably like small potatoes for some people. I think it's a membership already. It's just so dangerous. And no, I haven't looked at the Cooking with Jack drama yet. Hmm. He's a membership Kiwi in the Pixel. Have you seen Pacific Drive? Looks interesting. Oh, someone mentioned that. I wanted to look it up. Someone said my dad would like this game. Let me see the trailer. The crown jewel of the Pacific Northwest. Its unmatched views and quiet solitude offer everything you need in the most beautiful place on Earth. There is no cause for alarm. Take shelter in the closest pocket of stability in your area. This looks like it's supposed to be some kind of analog horror. The chain of events were in plain sight. Strange accidents leading to the government's claim of eminent domain and subsequent seizure of the peninsula. I thought this was a racing game. 100,000 people and the attempt and abject failure at containing the rumors that spread like wildfire. Ten. It was hours before Arda came to It is about driving. Some hmm. zone secrets are best left secret. Eight. Seven. Even look up at the sky anymore. Six. Was she a myth, martyr, or monster? Five. Nothing had more potential than limb technology. Four. I mean, it looks interesting. This is definitely not a game my dad would ever play, though. I don't know why you thought that. I guess just because of the aliens.
our new scientific frontier. With a raw power, the potential is limitless. Chat knows your dad better than you. Yeah, I guess. I'll recommend it to him. Nice. I'm more excited for Final Fantasy 7 than the Elden Ring DLC. Yeah, I mean, the new Final Fantasy looks great. seen the reviews calling it the best Final Fantasy game since 10. Oh, is that right? I do like the sound of that. That does put a smile on my face. Nine is the best according to Metacritic. Seven, eight, nine, and ten, I think, are some of the best games ever made. I replayed them not long ago and they still hold up so, so, so well. Thanks, Resub Bob. Would love to get into Counter Strike 2 for Moist Esports. It's just too expensive for us at the moment. Yeah, that's what chat was saying, Joey. I just haven't looked into the situation yet. I don't know, Anthony, I haven't been to that website in 10 years. I think it's the membership florists. And yeah, we know. I just talked about the Battlefront Classic. There's a Prime Rinden. <laughs> In your opinion, should the public be able to listen to police radio traffic, or should it be encrypted? I think it's fine for them to be able to listen to the police radio traffic. I don't, I don't see why that'd be an issue. Yeah, I, I say let them listen. You know what you did just remind me of with that? Like, you must have just watched The Incredibles or something, but you reminded me. Florida is about to pass that law, it sounds like, where it bans people under 15 from accessing social media. I saw people talking about it today. Yeah. Looks like they actually went through with it. Oh, 16, not 15. And thanks, Enzo. Yeah, there'll be more coming for that. I'm shocked they actually got passed. I don't know how they're enforcing it, though. Let me read. Because that's a very hard thing to enforce. Usually that'd be like giving your ID over to the state or something, like verifying your ID to access shit. Like, I think that's what they did in Louisiana, right, when they banned Pornhub? You need, like, a government ID. If DeSantis doesn't veto the bill, faces significant obstacles in the courts. Okay, so it's not like fully done yet or anything. The bill bans kids from creating or having accounts on social media sites that have any addicting features, which is super vague. 
because everything can be addicting, literally everything. Under the build, those features include infinite scrolling, push notifications and alerts, auto-playing video, live streaming, and displaying personal metrics such as likes or views, which is every website on the planet, really. Even Roblox has that. Not all social media companies use those features and therefore wouldn't be affected by the bill. Like what? What doesn't use the fe those features? Ooh, I'm sorry to hear that. Jesus, sorry to hear about the scam flaming. No, I, I, I'm not memeing. I can't think of a single site that doesn't use some of some of those features. Or is it using all of them? No, it says any. So I can't think of it any site that doesn't use these in some capacity. Well, that was super sweet. Thank you so much for that, Crit. That means a lot. You've always been so sweet. Thank you, Crit. Even YouTube does that. Even YouTube does that. Like I said, even Roblox does that. Roblox has metrics like that. I can't think of anything that doesn't. And yeah, we talked about 2XKO. Is it Tier 1 King? Wikipedia. <laughs> the only site children can access is Wikipedia. Like I said when we first went over this, I think this bill is born from good intentions. As I've said, there's no merit to having children on, like, Twitter and all that. Like, that's just going to serve to be an absolute fucking disaster. And has clearly been a disaster. But I, I don't know if necessarily requiring government ID to be tossed over is the right solution. I don't like that. That's extremely intrusive. But I think it's born from good intentions. But I don't know how you enforce it. And this is also a little too vague with the addicting features, because that's pretty much encompassing every website. By going to the gym, gentlemen. That's really the main way. What do you mean, Demetrius? Hey, I appreciate that, Cameron. Have a good night. My girlfriend works at a bank and some guy spent $50,000 in a month on corn. Yeah, wait until he doubles that. Then you'll feel real stupid for thinking it's weird. <laughs> the bill is to stop children from watching Jack Doherty. Oh, interestingly enough... This wouldn't affect live stream. Oh, wait, it even says live streaming explicitly. Never mind. <laughs> I forgot that one was there. I, I was remembering the auto playing and the metrics. Have you seen the McDonald's anime rebranding? No, I've seen a couple people in chat mention it, but I don't know anything about it. Oh yeah, here, it even mentions it here. Federal judges have ruled multiple times that requiring people to submit personal information such as age verification, this is meaning like submitting your government ID, to access the internet is unconstitutional, and I agree. I think that's just too intrusive, I think that's too much, and I don't know how else you're supposed to enforce that kind of thing anyway. Like I said, Bill born from probably good intentions of keeping kids off of things like Twitter and away from like weirdos and shit like that, but there's just no way. Yeah, of course I played the new Call of Duty, gentlemen. Hey, have a good night, Phantom. Thanks for the five gifted members, Bricks. Is that Mountain Dew tier list still coming? It is. That's the next one.
Why do you say MMOs are dead? Not dead per se, but most major companies won't make an MMO because it's way too expensive to develop, too many resources, too many resources, and too much upkeep. And pretty much all MMOs fail pretty quickly. Things are sub casually raining. Like what was the uh, the Amazon one? Everyone played for like two months. New World, I think. That was extraordinarily expensive. And thanks, Bricks. Sleep well. Doing alright, Sim. Hope you're doing well. Remember when Walmart made a Roblox game? It wasn't a Roblox game, they just made a world. Oh, that's a good point, Edgar. Wait, you're speaking facts on the Kickstarters now. They passed a bill that does this for corn in my state. They have it set up so that if you see your IEP address in the state, it won't let you sign in unless you provide those. This is going to increase the use of VPNs. Yeah, Louisiana, that's what we mentioned. Louisiana, you need your government ID to access porn unless you use a VPN. I think it's Louisiana, at least. And absolutely not, Hunter. Petitions don't work like that. North Carolina, too. Nice. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but that was like a loud one. That was a thunderous trumpet. You see Sonic Mania released a new 3D platformer. I did not. Parents should just parent. Yeah, those days are behind us now, though. Just let the internet raise your kids is kind of the main thing. Give them an iPad, call it a day. Shit sucks. Thanks again, Colton. No, I don't know what game that is. I've never heard of that game. It probably wouldn't update it, MLG. Oh yeah, the new Godzilla vs. Kong movie looks so fucking good. I'm excited. I'm very excited for that. It all depends, Kyle. It's it's changing every day. It's always different, which is what's very nice about it. Is Daytona Beach safe? Considering going to Welcome to Rockville, but I'm on the fence. Since I always travel alone, don't want to go somewhere questionable. Hey, Leah. I don't know. I've never been to Daytona Beach. Not that I can remember. It's probably safe, I would guess, if it's a giant event. Probably have security. What's your opinion about Snapchat AI? Know your location and all that? I don't use Snapchat. I don't know anything about the Snapchat AI. And just more big bosses like Melania Ping would be great. Just didn't think of them at the time, Bricks. I 
Let's read some Nate. You have been on a beach date. Was that a question or a statement? Well, I think that actually, you know what? The very first date I ever took someone on was a date to the beach. I had met this girl at a house party. And then, like, the following day, I invited her to the beach. Worst possible date idea ever. It was terrible. Like, you just sit out there and tan and, like, small talk with nothing really to do. And then eventually I was like, do you want to go hang out with my friends? Who also just happened to be at the beach that day. And she was like, sure. So we did. And then it was just a group sitting there and tanning and listening to music. Pretty much anything else would have been better. He's a membership time thief. This is a boring date. I'm also just not a big beach guy. I just feel like it's always so underwhelming. Thanks for you some punk. Thanks for a long time of watching punk. Oh, Cuphead. Yeah, I love Cuphead. You said Siphead. I thought that was something else, like an SCP or something. Yeah, no, Cuphead's amazing. And yeah, I've seen the marathon trailer. Though I don't have any faith in Bungie to deliver quality anymore. I know, that's news to me, Journey. I want to go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Give me two seconds.
I'm back. Thanks, Prime Flub. Seen the Google chatbot that refuses what? No, I, I didn't see the Google chatbot could generate. <clears throat> All digital and physical copies of Coyote vs. Acme, including storyboard, script, voice recordings, and film, have as of now been deleted, according to Warner's CEO. Can someone just put that man in prison already? Fucking what's his name? Zazslav. That's just wild to me. All just for a tax break. Not very big goober. Thanks, Ashton. In the prime haunting. Why delete it and not like keep it in a safe or hard drive? I don't know. Maybe they don't get the tax break. <laughs> I'm sure it still exists somewhere. Someone preserved it, I bet. Thanks, membership, Justin. Hasn't been decided yet, they decide tomorrow. Oh, okay. Thanks for the recent freshness. No, I haven't looked at the Cooking with Jack stuff yet. I've only heard the cliff notes from stream chat. You think it'd be cool if they added Hayabusa armor set in Elden Ring? <laughs> yeah, it'd be cool. And no, I don't even know what that means, Aussie. Like some membership regular. I haven't seen the Yu-Gi-Oh! VR reveal. Thanks for some about Gato. Really hoping you're back in proof soon, Gato. Like an official Yu-Gi-Oh! VR? Looks like it. Where's the trailer? This was the anime thing we watched when they announced their studio. <laughs> Konami okay. just killed it. And it's probably the duel. What Konami got cup? This isn't some first. Was that the Finn never. I just want to see what it looks like. Instance, spans in more adventure mode, like with the character of the game. Yu Gi Oh! Basically, mystically. When it comes to more specifics about Yu Gi Oh! I think we focus for them moving forward over the next few years or so, which is. Why oh, of course, I played Bloody Roar. I loved it growing up. It was a prime roar. But there really isn't any big bear. And yeah, I've had a tooth extracted before. Now, considering that this thing's release could be maybe still a full year out. And, you know, maybe things could change in the future. And they'd have to build community and getting people ex I think this isn't a I mean, it's a novel idea. I'm surprised it's taken this long. What do you a Yu Gi Oh! VR game just makes so much sense. I don't know how much work they're going to put into it, but. Not a bad idea. You see, it came out that Jokic is a huge League of Legends fan and plays Alawi and Urgot. He even wears merch from League YouTuber named Solo Renekton Only. That's adorable. Solo Renekton Only is a channel I haven't heard of in a while. Do they still post? He does. He's still very active, too. You know who else is like a super big gamer? Is Luca. Luca's an Overwatch Grandmaster. I think he's also a Moxie fan. These are some bestest, bro.
Luca plays with Mike on and brags. It's hilarious. That's so good. <laughs> That's so cool. Carl Anthony Towns also streams on Twitch. Does he? What? Really? Oh, you're right. How often? Oh, he streamed 13 days ago. He's been on Twitch for a minute, actually. So many athletes that stream now. Yeah, I talked about this before, too. What's crazy to me is, like, when you ask a normal person, like, a famous celebrity, a lot of times they'll default to, like, a sports superstar. And you think, like, sports is, like, this upper echelon of celebrity and that it translates to, like, every avenue. But it really doesn't. There's a lot of NFL players and former NFL players, like, really big ones that are active streamers on Twitch. And I'll tune in from time to time and they have, like, 13 viewers and they stream daily. I'm always shocked to see that. Like it doesn't like it just all it doesn't always transfer over. <laughs> but I think they do it just cuz they love it, which is the most important part. I hope you feel better soon, Wax. And yeah, I've seen some I'm very familiar with that channel. Thanks, Risa Piccarelli. Thanks, Risa Blood. And the Risa A. It's just too expensive, eh? That's all. That's millions and millions of dollars to get into that esports scene. The Rise of Fubu Scammers by Cat James. It sounds interesting. I can definitely look at it. I'm always interested in new scams. See what's going on. I like roguelike games a lot. Favorites, probably Risk of Rain 2, maybe Hades. And I do know Top Fuel Dragsters, my dad's a fan. Yep, of course I'll be playing the Elden Ring DLC when it comes out. Your fear of flying has really been vindicated lately. Hey, I've been saying it for years. Planes are fucking exploding right now. There's like a new a new aviation disaster every day. Not necessarily like full-blown catastrophe plane crashes, but just these tiny things that just keep happening. I'm telling you, it's scary. Chat GBT taking over aircraft controls. Things oh. tier one slightly more milk. The maggots on the plane story was wild. I still can't believe that. Yeah, the maggots falling in the plane cabin is horrifying.
Yeah, I made a whole video on that pastor who said God wanted him to start a crypto scam. I'm glad you like the Trapster. And I haven't played any of those, Fire. Linkin Park dropped a new unreleased song, when? Unless you're talking about, like, end of last year. Let me see. Because they released quite a few. Alright, let's see it. You gonna try the KFC Cheesa? I'm assuming that's a chicken pizza. Yeah, I'll try it. Thanks, Faith. I will absolutely be playing Final Fantasy when it comes out next week. I appreciate it, Soggy. When on my first flight in November is 27 hours of three different plane rides to the Philippines. Oh. And I don't know that game blank. Oh. God, that sounds miserable. Oh, hey, the 10 gifted members, Eli. Thank you for that. Or Elivel, perhaps. The Peacemaker trailer for Mortal Kombat looks good. Came out earlier today. Let me take a peek. Time to smile. Hell yeah, it is. Fight a fire god is coming off my bucket list. I'm assuming John Cena impersonator. It sounded a little off. Pretty close though. Is it actually John Cena? He's recent PCC. <laughs> Suck on that. It's actually him? Oh, okay. Maybe he's just not a great voice actor. That's cool though that he agreed to it. Yeah, I know Homelander's not Anthony Starr. That's why I kind of thought this wasn't Peacemaker. Or John Cena. You're the first bangable monster chick I've met. You think me a monster? I mean, it's cute. Shits take more effort than beating you, Will. I will so enjoy killing you. Thanks for the membership, Tyson. Nice, Tyson. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Finish him. Go time. Oh. Activate Sonic Boom. Not bad. Peace unlocked. Fatality. I mean, not bad. Win. Waste of a cameo slot. 
Yeah, I know about classic Battlefront. New Linkin Park music video dropped 20 minutes ago. Okay, I'm getting quite a few people say that. That must be like super fresh because it's not popping up. Let me go to their channel. Oh, yeah, you're right. 42 minutes ago. Yeah, I'll listen to that later. You ever see that breast milk can be wacky colors? My girl is pregnant and the shit I'm learning is wild. I had no idea. What do you mean? Like, what kind of wacky colors? She's like Ivan Ooze out there with the purple breast milk? What's happening? Nah, probably not sushi. I don't really like flying at all. So I'd, I'd like to avoid it. That Friendly Fire song is AI generated. No, didn't they say that they're not going to use any AI technology on Chester's voice or anything? So I imagine this is just one of their more recent unreleased tracks. They can be green, pink, and yellow. Oh, those are awful colors for milk. I hope you enjoyed it, Pragmatic. And I just say consistency and having fun. The most important part. The fun. We've seen the house that is a musical instrument. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, Arisa Maroon. Thanks, Arisa Billy. Breast milk, probably the most foul thing ever. Brother, we're built off breast milk. <laughs> what do you mean? It's, n it's necessary. When was the last time you had it? How do you know it's foul? You had it recently? Thanks, Doodlebob. And no, uh, no huge updates. Thanks, Resub None. And yeah, I'll play Stalker too. Dude drank coffee as a baby. <laughs> Mother, put those tits away. Have some class. Pour me a cup of joe. I will not settle for your breast milk. Ugh. Disgusting. That's true, Crit. Thanks for your sub decent. Thanks to resub Esky Joe and Tier 1 Stink. You seen the new Don't Pee World Record? I saw. It's it's pretty crazy. <laughs> Thanks to resub Elijah. I'm sorry to hear that, Bricks. And no, I don't do that on stream. I, I was just going to watch it on my own in general. Do a hot ones, hot sauce tier list. You're three, four years too late for that one. We did that a long time ago. 
We even did them again recently. The more recent Hot One sauces are so mild compared to what they used to be. Anyone else notice how corrupt the music industry is to turn a blind eye to pedophilia and let artists still keep making music behind their label? Yeah, but not just that. That's like the tip of the iceberg. The music industry is so corrupt from top to bottom at every single facet of the music industry. That is wild, Nelly. I had no idea breast milk could come in all those colors. Nice membership simper. No, I didn't see that, Rose. Wow. When are you going to learn Inferno and Old School RuneScape? At some point. I don't know, man. It's been a while. I've been on hiatus for a bit since maxing. So it's been... It has been a big break. Apparently the song's AI dupless. I don't know. I haven't listened to it yet. Thoughts on so thoughts on Sean Strickland versus Bryce Hall. Is that fight happening? Uh, maybe it'll be entertaining. I have no clue. Obviously, Sean is going to annihilate Bryce. But I guess if you really hate Bryce, it'll be fun. Hey, Milky. No, I'm not going to Mardi Gras. I've always wanted to, but I don't know. I never make the trip out for it. I tried shorting NVIDIA, and now I owe the bank money. What do I do? <laughs> cool. Yeah, good luck. I don't know. You're a tits over ass guy. You have to go to Mardi Gras. Yeah, apparently there's a lot of boobies getting flashed at Mardi Gras. That's what everyone says. Boobies are pretty cool. I, I, I don't know if I'd be driving out to Mardi Gras for it. Yeah, I haven't watched the drum cover video in a while. But yeah, I used to. And yeah, that was sad roadkill. Isn't Mardi Gras just full of booze and topless women? Seems pointless when you can find an alternative at home. Well, it's more of a party. It's not so much going just for looking at topless women and drinking beer. Though I guess, yeah, you can crack open a bush light and watch porn, but it's not the same experience of going to a big party. <laughs> it's it's like a, it's a, it's a spectacle, it's an event. By that logic, you can do pretty much anything else from home. <laughs> Why go to a sports game when I can just watch it at home? I mean, you're going for the whole experience and the fun. <laughs> Wait, you don't watch porn with the boys? Can you imagine that? Hey, why are you guys going to Mardi Gras? Just come on over. I'll put on porn. I'll get us some champagne.
just dudes throwing beads at each other. Yeah, I mean, I guess that'd be kind of cool. Mardi Gras, let's go, fucking gooning. I haven't finished Netflix Avatar. I'm going to try and finish it tomorrow and get a review up. Whole cookout with porn on the big screen. You know, there's a, there was a place in Tampa that used to do that. At the bowling alley I used to bowl at in college, there was a really diabolical place across the street that would play porn on a projector outside. And it was a bar. So you go and you just drink and they play porn. And there's also a place that still does this. They call it Pornioki, where they just play porn during karaoke nights. There's a tier one pillow. I haven't been to Pornioki, but Aaron and Chelsea went once, and apparently, I don't know if they're just fucking with me or not, but apparently one of the people who went up and did karaoke sang 2019 Guy. Which I think is so fitting for that environment. And it tickled me. And yes, I did see that, Sans. It's very frustrating. And solo leveling's been good. Yeah, I finally caught up. That's pretty cool, Josh. That's nice. And nothing too crazy, Kobe. Nothing, like, really weird. Thanks to Membership Dallas. Do you moan to the music or just have to sing with porn playing over everything? It's normal karaoke. There's just porn playing. Why? I don't know. Quirky, I guess. Thanks, Nelly. And could be up, could definitely be up for it. I have not started Mashal yet. Never been to a porn theater. What is that? What the fuck is that? A porn theater? God, the gooning is reaching apocalyptic levels. Porn theater is old. That's what Pee Wee Herman was arrested for. I thought he went to just like a normal public theater and jerked. You're telling me it was like a... Like, that was the activity? Like, it was a planned thing? Why was he arrested then? It was a theater meant for it, too. It was a porn theater for some reason you're only allowed to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Alright, come on into the porn theater. We're playing some really incredible stuff. Oh, you sick freak! Put your dick away! What are you doing? In, a, in an establishment like this, you, you've got some nerve! Security! Say, get this degenerate out of here! In my porn theater? Why, I never... Edging only zone. <laughs> I guess so. I had no idea. I thought the whole Pee Wee Herman thing was he just went to a normal theater and started masturbating. That changes everything. That man went to a public communal goon cave. Like, what do you expect? I'm sure everyone in there was, like, beating their meat. I don't know why they, they brought the hammer down on him. Not that I know of, Herna. 
I'd be up for it, though. Do I have a go-to karaoke song? Not yet. I'm still trying to find my karaoke identity. I think next time I do karaoke, I'm going to do I Write Sins, Not Tragedies. Get the whole joint pumping. And I still haven't played the DLC for that, James. Thanks to the resub J. Should be lips of an angel. Oh, actually classic. Not a bad idea. Yeah, I remember that, Edgar. I regret not going. I did karaoke and the song I picked was Fortunate Son by Creedence Clearwater Revival and I was told after I sounded like a dying cat. That's no fun. Sorry to hear that. I'm sure you did great. Have you seen Jack Doherty's lawsuit? Oh, about the the time the security guard blasted that guy? Now he's being sued? Yeah. I did see that. I really hope Jack Doherty loses. No. Wait, what does that mean, SN? Oh, I see. I misread what you said. But no, I didn't know that. I'm going to be in the direct line of sight of the eclipse in April. Any idea how to spend the day? Uh. Maybe just watch something inside for a while. And then go out and say, oh. Ooh. Then go back in. Thanks to the seven gift subs pillow. Appreciate that. Hey, I'm happy to hear that, Simp. Good shit. You got the official endorsement from him. Well, you don't have to be good to do karaoke. And no, I have not heard of that, Dirty Birds. I hate Fishman Island, so I'm still in the Fishman Island arc for One Piece and haven't watched in months now. It's a terrible, terrible arc. Have you ever had a lucid dream? I had a lucid dream one time. I still remember it. It's the only lucid dream that I can actually recall. 
I realized that I was dreaming and I was in control of the dream. And the first thing I did was put a dinosaur in the dream and... <laughs> that was really about it. Uh, there was nothing cool. I was like, ah, yeah, yeah, I can do that. Is McDonald's is making an anime? Yeah, that's what chat was telling me. You watch the trailer for the game Kingmakers? Oh, I keep forgetting to do that. I wanted to look this up earlier and forgot. We don't know where he came from. But I'll tell you, he built our village into a city. He's the one who trained our army, who grew us into an empire. I don't know where he's from. But if you think you can stop him, you're already dead. <laughs> Oh, that was an interesting twist. This is cute. It did not golden, I'm sorry to say. It's pretty cool. He gave our people a future. I hope he can save his own. Isn't this days gone like? Huh? He's gone. That's pretty cool. Any idea on how, or any tips on how to get better at speedrunning? Been hard stuck at twenty five minutes for Poppy Playtime three. It's just practice, man. That's all. It's just practice. And yeah, I've seen some of his tweets, Jameson. He seems great. <laughs> you watch the Delta Force trailer? What's that? This? Oh, I'm assuming it's this. Looks like I've got a tally on the boy. Oh, I'd I'd win for sure, Rex. I'm good at pole dancing. And suffering. I heard Talon, I'll have to check it out. I found a way to make it better. Progress, though, it comes with the cost. They weren't ready for me, for my plan and its ways. Fear drove them to rise against me. First, with stones and pitchforks. So, what kind of game is this? Like a tactical FPS? They stole my blueprints. 
Broke my lines of production and cracked my foundation. It kind of reminds me of that game Blacklight Retribution, if anyone remembers that. Even though Blacklight Retribution was a lot more sci fi, I just get a similar vibe. These changes were a path to prosperity. Balance must be pursued at all costs. And the balance will be due, whether with them or even myself. What happened to Blacklight Retribution? Did it just slowly fade out and then they shut down? That game was fun. Yeah, I, I got nothing out of that. I still don't even know what kind of shooter it is. He's resub high key. Anime recommendation? Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, super simple one to start. to know what kind of game you'd come up with oh, I've got a banger idea for a game I just need a studio that will actually do it we've been cooking an idea for a game for years it's so good too I might roadkill I haven't decided if I'll play it or not yet I like JoJo's But it's some dumb horror gimmick. No, it's not a horror game at all. Why would I make a horror game? That's in, like the main genre of game I shit on. Because they're all bad. about the Australian man who shoved several batteries into his wiener as shocking as this is I did not hear about that guy I don't keep up with the sounding newsletter Dude's penis takes double A's. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Good evening. Yeah, we talked about the Borderlands trailer. And obviously Elden Ring DLC. He's membership owl. No, I don't think I'll play Last Epic. It's Last Epic, right? That's how you say it. Epoch, whatever. I don't think I'll play it. I saw it comes out soon, or it might already be out. I'm not sure. came out yesterday did it how is it do people like it I don't think I'll play it I'm not a big AR ARPG guy I 
Okay. Most people are saying it's good. That's an interesting quote, Wax. Just looked at the Kingsmakers trailer. It was cool. Seems like a fun idea. I think I'm going to go to bed, actually. I'm getting kind of tired now. What comes out? There's another game that comes out this week, right? Because if not, maybe we start something else. Oh, <laughs> this is what it was. I have a list. There was a new Terminator game that came out. But this one's kind of, like, not bad looking. It's like an XCOM-style Terminator game. So that one might actually be a fun game. I think that was it. Yeah, that's it till Final Fantasy. Alright, so then we'll start something else then. Alright, but I'm going to bed for now, though. Maybe we'll do more Don't Pee runs as well. See if I can get another record with the new route. Alright. Thanks for the generosity. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good night, everyone. Sleep well. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.